Good evening, ladies and gents. So here we are. Season 15 has officially been announced. Yes! Yes! So I'm going to show you the trailer and I'm going to read you everything to expect from the game when it drops in uh, a couple of weeks on February the 23rd as a free update for Conqueror's Blade. So this season, season 15, is season eternal. We are going back to ancient China and we are going to be getting three new units. We are going to be getting a couple of systems revamped as well. And we're going to be getting some other nice goodies. I'm going to explain all in this video. So just keep me on, watch the trailer, and we will discover what is coming up together. So first off, Back to ancient China, as you can see in the trailer, there is a Keshig kind of invasion, so a Mongol invasion, and we have some new units to go up against those Keshigs and some Mongols. So first off, we've got the three tier, and this is a Pike kind of unit. The four tier is another Monk type of unit, and then the five tier is a Glaive Cavalry. My god, someone up there is listening to me. We have got our first Glaive unit in the game, and I am psyched so much for a Glaive unit. Really looking forward to playing all three of these different classes. All three sound like they are going to be bringing a unique and dynamic kind of uh, fresh experience into the game. With the tier 3 pikes bringing a kind of fire lance type thing, we're not sure if this just causes fire damage or if this is going to be exploding damage. The tier 4 are a monk kind of class, so I assume they are going to be having some kind of healing, perhaps skills again. And then obviously the tier 5 cavalry, I am going to be very psyched and very interested to see just how those uh, glaive cavalry actually come in and attack people. Do they do the big kind of uh, glaive attack that we do on our horseback? Or are they going to have some unique skills and unique abilities? Really looking forward to playing all three classes. So I'm just going to dive into these patch notes right now. I will be detailing after these patch notes how you can win a battle pass for free from me. Yes, it's funded by me. It's not given to me to give away. It is funded out of my own pocket. So... If you are interested in having a chance to win the Battle Pass, then you are going to be needing to listen out after we read through these patch notes together. So then, as always, I will leave a link in the description box below for you so you can read these patch notes to your heart's content. However, I will be picking out the kind of juiciest bits and going through everything that I think you need to know. So, launching in February the 23rd, we are going back to ancient China and we are going to be obviously getting a whole host of new kind of bonuses and things like that so the new mode the escalation siege mode i have already made a video about this detailing what this mode is all about go back have a read through of that because it, i'm not going to go fully into it here uh i've made a whole video about it really excited to play that new kind of siege mode it's going to be very very interesting uh new units obviously what I've just said, so we've got the tier 3 Wuxing Pikeman, so unleash elemental fury against your opponents with this fiery unit's flaming spears, the crescent monks, four stars, these travelling tattooed men of faith expertly handle their shovel-like weapons, wielding them to bring down enemies who threaten their way of life, and finally the tier 5, the Yanyudo Cavalry, let loose with devastating attacks from atop mighty steeds and turn the tide of battle with this cavalry brigade. New enhancement system. This has already caused a little bit of contention with people because <laughs> they're a little bit concerned about how this is actually going to be running. So start from the new season, equipment reforging is changing. Use the Artifice Stone to refine your equipment at the Artifice's Forge and go get gear with better attributes. It's going to be quite interesting to actually see how that works. New artillery. The first new artillery piece we have had in a very long time. It's Divine Crow. Hit the battlefield with brand new epic artillery inspired by the Huliong. I've oh, definitely murdered that name. An ancient Chinese uh, guide to fire weapons. The Divine Crow's fiery strength is sure to turn the side of battle with its extensive range and blast radius. Obviously, I am going to be giving away a battle pass. I am going to be giving that battle pass away before the season starts as well, so you can get these pre-order bonuses. Obviously, if you do not win the pre uh, the battle pass that I am giving away, if you pre-order the battle pass before the 23rd of May, you will obviously get the battle pass. You will get two times greatest goals of glory, 10 times unit medals, 50,000 bronze coins, and one tree dice as well. So if you are interested in getting the battle pass, Get it before the 23rd of February and then you'll be getting all those kind of rewards for it as well. 
we will be starting our expedition in the Borderlands or in Lingyong, and then we have already got this confirmed, but Longting will be opening at some point as well. They are saying Dai Chang is going to be the main capital of the season again. Obviously, it has been for the past season. It's going to, again, Dai Chang, Lingyong, that's quite a nice region to fight in. Uh, but we are going back over to Longting as well. So Longting, I am sure, is going to be the side capital of the season. Borderlands, I not sure if we're going to be fighting for the Conqueror City. I doubt it, to be honest. But obviously, loads of loads of land in the borderlands to kind of go over, go after it and everything like that. A couple of different regions that we can kind of explore and go into. So then, the patch notes are fairly short. Uh, we are going to be getting more details, I'm sure, this coming week as well. However, I've got some juicy bits of information I want to give you about the uh, kind of preview event that we are doing. It's a little bit changed this time around. But also the Twitch Drops, which are going to be launching next week. And I am very psyched for a Twitch Drops campaign. So... In previous seasons, we have hosted preview events for creators, giving you the opportunity to show you the upcoming new content to your audience, etc, etc. We all know what the preview events have been the last few seasons. It looks like we are going back to actually the content creators just doing them by themselves, pretty much. We are going into a pre-launch playtest. We are going to be able to show off all of the content. We are going to also be able to provide feedback on the content as well. Most things should be unlocked already so we can have a proper play with it and they want specific feedback on artificers forge enhancement system and the three star pikeman if you are watching any content creators if you are watching me if you are actually seeing any videos that we are pushing out leave your feedback on those videos give your feedback to those creators they can feed that feedback back to the dev teams to the cms everybody like that and we can get our feedback acted upon before the release or at least heard before the release of the season the eternal pre-launch playtest will happen february the 17th to the 20th uh, we are being encouraged to trial the new content as always i will be making videos a fairly long video on the whole kind of thing i'll go through everything in depth and show you everything that there is try and break down all the new systems show you the new units all that kind of stuff so definitely definitely if you have any feedback or if you have anything that you want me to explore in detail such as the runes or the new shop or anything like that leave a message on the this video and I will make sure I cover that in depth for you. Twitch drops, Twitch drops are going to be starting on February the 24th and running through to March the 6th. There are Twitch drops already on the CBL as well, so you are going to have to play this a little bit clever. If you want to be getting all of the Twitch drops, then you need to be tuning into the CBL when it is live. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be the same Twitch drops or if they're going to be different, but you are going to want to be tuning into the CBL anyway and just watching those teams battle it out because either way there are definitely going to be Twitch drops on those channels. For the eternal Twitch drops then all of the approved content creators will be having those on their channel as well so just keep an eye out for those drops enable tags that will tell you exactly who is going to be having them. That is pretty much everything that we know to date though that is pretty much everything we know so far so how? How? coffee do we win that battle pass i hear you crying because i have kept you going for a little while now so what i need you to do is fairly simple this time around there's no clean competition or anything like that because i've been very lazy and haven't set one up so all i want you to do is leave a message on this video detailing me what you are most looking forward to from the new season and the reason why i will be using a random comment picker to pick out the comment if your comment is not about what you are looking forward to and the reasons why you are not going to be eligible to win a battle pass so if you want to win that battle pass you've got to leave a pretty decent comment about what you're looking forward to and why i'll be pulling the winner Round the 21st i'll be messaging you either on discord if i know you or i'll be just kind of Trying to find a way to contact you to so just keep an eye out on my Discord because I will be announcing the winner in my Discord channel, link in the bottom, on the 21st or around the 21st. So if I have not already got you on Discord, you will find the winner in my Discord channel. So it is now definitely time to start getting over there. The next season as well. I am planning on hosting some Discord exclusive competitions for Conquest Blade, so you are definitely going to be wanting to be in that channel anyway, because you are going to be missing out on some stuff if you are not. 
Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please hit that like button, hit that sub button, share this video around. All that lovely fan doobie tested stuff. And I hope to catch you out on the battlefield.